Hey guys, welcome to my channel and today I'm taking you with me to China Square Mall. I was quite excited and very, very curious about visiting China Square after all the social media hype that has been going around. I planned my trip on a weekday, very early in the morning so that I can avoid the huge crowds that we see on social media. And first things first, I took a stroll on first floor just to get myself acquainted and see what was on offer and to just get a bearing of what things are being sold and the prices and so on. The first section that got my attention was this. It had glass holders, kitchen organizers, um, dish racks, everything to do with uh, organization was there. And then this other section which had baking equipment like baking tins, and baking trays the quality i must say it was quite good and the pricing too was quite decent and they had a variety of selection that you can pick from they had different kinds of shapes sizes material so you have quite a variety to pick from if you're into baking and you're looking for baking tins and on the other side we had baking tools which were reasonably priced however i was a little bit disappointed because half of the shelf was empty i would have loved to see the selection that was there before it got there and then i also saw these egg separators i normally come across the plastic ones but i was quite impressed with the stainless steel one On this other side, I saw storage containers which were going for 1200 shillings. They were a good quality and of good size and they had different varieties. So you have a selection to pick from. And as I was scrolling, I saw these bread baskets which really caught my eyes. They had these smaller ones going for 300 shillings. They were made of plastic. And then you also had these other ones which had decorations on the side. They are almost semi-rectangular. And then you had these circular ones which were being sold as a set of three going for 2,500 and a few shillings. I can't really remember. And then apart from these circular ones, you had an option for the rectangular ones which had no decorations going for the same price. So I really loved shopping at this time because the store wasn't so crowded and then on this other side we had basketballs and other types of balls and then I also spotted this wine um, vacuum stoppers they were going for I think 600 and something I can't really remember the price but I yeah they were going for 690 they are really nice if you if you take wine and you have some leftover and you don't want air to get into it or flies or you want to save it for the next time you're drinking wine. So they had a variety of those. And then on this section, we had shoe racks. The shoe racks were going between 1,800 to 3,000 shillings. There were different kinds. They had the big ones um, and the different colors. So you had a variety to pick from. 
And then on this other side, we had the stools. We had the smaller stools and the regular sized stools. They were going for between, this one was 1,200 shillings, 1,260, and the others were 1,500, all the way up to 2,000 shillings. Some shelves were still empty even after a few hours while I was in the store but I consider myself very very lucky because I still found these silicone spoons available. I love cooking with them and going on to the artificial flower section I wanted to also get a few roses for my kitchen deco. I couldn't decide which colors that I wanted but I eventually settled on a few of them. So I decided to go to the first floor and this was the first thing that I saw. These are rubber shoes. They had a selection of rubber shoes laid along the edge of the balcony of the first floor. And then I also decided to take a stroll to just see what options um, of, or rather what items were available here. So the first, the second thing I noticed were these cutting rods. They were going for between 3,000 and 2,000 shillings, different lengths. And then I also noticed that th there were these photo frames that were going for 200 shillings to 300 shillings. So you had a very wide selection of frames to pick from. I bought a few just so that I can keep my pictures and I thought I could also customize them to any color or design that I wanted. So I only picked the white ones. So here there's a section for the baby strollers and these bags but the bags weren't the best quality so i just left them alone and then there's also a section for decorative items for baby stuff for stuffed animals for stationery for beddings and pillows for raincoats for kids toys and then at the extreme end you would have um, the roller curtains and different types of curtains that you would want including shears and then you also have hats and ladies um, innerwear. So you'd have a selection of items to pick from, from the, from the first floor. And then at the extreme end, I noticed that some of the shelves are also still empty. And I noticed these corner stands, which were going for a reasonable price. They were going for, I think, 3,400 shillings. And at the extreme end, we had this carpet section where they were offering various designs and types of carpets, the Persian ones and the fluffy ones. And they also had the foot rugs and the bedside rugs for you to pick from. The price, I think, ranged from um, 700 to 15,000. Again, coming out of the second floor, sorry, coming out of the first floor, the shelves were still very empty and here's my mom trying to figure out what some of the leftover things are. I think those were the waste, waste pockets, waste bags. Yeah. So this other floor was second floor where they keep the furniture. They had a variety of furniture on offer and we got a few stools from the selection that they had. We got this type. Um, it was going for 1500 shillings. This was a dining table going for 40,000 shillings and the seats were going for 11,000 each.
I was really impressed with the quality of the furniture. It was really nice and the furniture and the, the wall units were made of very good quality wood. It was very, very sturdy. So these ones were outdoor seats, they were going for 25,000 as a full set. So on this section you had a variety of outdoor seats or outdoor or indoor, whichever way that you decide to use them. And then there were the massage tables on, on, our, on our right and then there were mattresses and beds and office seats and um, bed stands. So you had a quite a variety of furniture to pick from there. Also the recliner sofas which I didn't get to record and the electronic section which had televisions and washing machines and fridges. So this is us heading on to the exit to pay for our stuff. So I'll be making a second video to show you what I got and how much it cost us. So see you soon.